personalized banner ads. What are those? Look at this example here. We have an online shop um, that we talked about a couple of times in this series from John Lennon. If you visit them, you will very likely, after a bit of time, you will see this engaging pop-up where you where you get to have like the spinning wheel. If you enter your email address, you can you can win something. This is a very engaging way uh, to interact with your customers, and you can personalize this based on where your people have come from. Um, you don't want, for example, to do this for, for past customers, or you want to do this especially for past customers, but with different offers. And this is provided by a tool called Listagram. I think this is a bit of the craziest and most engaging tool that I've found for lead generation, uh, not only on online shops, but in all kinds of scenarios. We, we talked about many different strategies, what to do here. We talked about evil pop-ups. Um, and how sadly they are working. I, I think I saw a question about that. We talk about that later. We talk about engagement tools and the stuff that I want to dig deep into is like offering a personalized coupon code for your campaign sources. It is such an interesting experience when you click on an ad or have interacted with an influencer and you land on a website that actually takes into account what you have just been seeing. And we're gonna use Google Optimize for that. How does this work? I've brought an example here from the Pirate Skills landing page. <clears throat> this is our workshop landing page. And if you come from Facebook, you will see this red banner at the top. This is just a demo banner, but you can actually type the link below in piratesgoods.com slash workshop slash question mark source equals Facebook. And you will see this banner and only when you came from that source. How do I get something like that and why should you have it? Let's say I promised you a discount in my ad and then I take up this offer again in the store and make it more likely that you want it. Then I can, I can put a banner at the top or at the center and make this much more relevant for you. The tool that makes this magic work is Google Optimize. There are many tools that can do this, but Google Optimize, I think, is, is one of the, like the least complicated ways to get there. First of all, it's extremely likely that you already have Google Analytics installed, which is a prerequisite for Google Optimize to work. If, if you haven't, you probably have a really good reason why not, because it's, it's, it's like the default tracking tool that everybody has. And Google Optimize sits on top of that. You can get all of the information uh, below. And it allows you to do quite fun things. So let's let's just dig in and, and start an experiment in Google Optimize. The only thing I should say is that the basic idea of Google Optimize is that you can do a change on your website without having your developers involved. Maybe your developers are involved with installing your Google Analytics and Optimize, but that, that's it. From then on, you have a, what you see is what you get overview of your content, and you can just change pictures and text and whole colors. Yeah? And then you can decide how many people are going to see that. So how does this work in real practice? You start in this scenario with a personalized banner with a banner template. Uh, we got A-B tests, which show, for example, 50% of version A to this audience, 50% of version B to that audience. We got multivariate tests, we got redirects, and we got those new banner templates. They actually introduced it because of the pandemic, so shop owners can easily put a warning on their stores, but I think this is going to stay around permanently because it's such a good idea. Once you've created this experiment with a banner template, you, you arrive on the screen where you now can edit that banner. So if you press on the edit button, you will see, you will go back to your website and you will see this banner at the top in a different color probably. And this is where you can customize the color, the text and the link that is on the learn more stuff. You can also rename it and then you save it. And now you need to make a decision what is triggering that banner because maybe you don't want to show it for everybody. If, if you want to show it for everybody, just you're already done. But if you only want to show it to people from a specific source, there are many ways to get there. One of the simplest ways to do it 
is to use query parameters. That is the option that is, that is marked here. A query parameter is essentially what is written after the URL. It starts with a question mark and we, we created a query parameter called source. You see it in the preview URL down here. I was checking it, uh, piratesgoods.com, question mark, source equals Facebook. And we define always a key and a value. The, the, the key is the, the word that stands at the beginning, question mark, source. And the value that is the trigger is in this case, Facebook. And you can create all kinds of values. Uh, you can say, oh yeah, this was Instagram Mary. This was Facebook stories. This was Instagram stories. And then you can trigger different banners and customizations based on that. So now visitors who have this query parameter source equals Facebook can see this red banner and I can use this for all kinds of shenanigans. That's essentially it. Yeah, we, we now got this personalized banner set up and running. This is a process that costs you maybe an hour yeah, for the initial setup and after that 10 minutes. So personalization sounds always so, so fancy and retargeting and A-B testing, but you saw that those were just a few steps. If you just follow along what I showed you on the slides, you're done already. And now we can go into the part where we try to look at optimizing your uh, checkout in the next part.